Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to the AWS CDK training sessions and we are talking about what all we can do through the AWS CDK. You can do anything through the AWS CDK because AWS provides a number of uh, components like SQS, SNS, S3, Lambda, CloudFront, Route 53, Elastic, Beanstalk, you name it, code commit, code pipelines, everything you can build through the AWS CDK. So what AWS CDK is, just you are writing code and just using AWS CLI and AWS CDK library to just deploy or create the resources on the AWS platform through CloudFormation. So here in simple architecture, you are using S3 bucket, SQS, DynamoDB, Lambda, API Gateway, and AWS Cognito for authentication, everything can be built through the AWS CDK. So what is CDK? CDK is just an app which contains a multiple stacks or a single stack because in the last demo we were using just a single stack, SQS stack, right? But you can have multiple stack and stacks will have a constructs. Constructs are just like AWS component, Lambda, API Gateway, DynamoDB, uh, S3 Bucket, CloudFront, uh, EC2 instance, VPC, all these are constructs. So you can see app will have a stacks, stacks, app can have multiple stacks first of all, or you can have a single stack. That stack will have a constructs like S3 bucket, CloudFront here, KMS. Here we are using RDS, KMS and the construct Lambda. And when you do CDK in it, it just gives you simple TypeScript app and then you just create app and the stacks with the constructs. Then you do CDK synthesize. What it will create is it creates a cloud formation template and then you do an CDK deploy. It just push your cloud formation template stack to the AWS. If your AWS credentials are correct, the AWS account and everything is correct, set up properly. Then it will deploy those resources. And because AWS understand a cloud formation to create a resources through the programmatically. So that cloud formation templates will instruct AWS how to create resources, what should be the linking, how, what are the permissions, what are the roles needs to be created. All these things happens on the fly. So this uh, AWS stack you can create either in the TypeScript, either in Python, Ruby, Java, there are multiple language supports and we are creating constructs. So let's say if I want to have a simple REST APIs, I need a API gateway, I need a Lambda, I may need a DynamoDB, and I may need a S3 bucket. So there may be a four constructs inside this uh, REST API stack, which is a, which is inside a REST API app. You write it in one of the languages, use CDK CLI and AWS CLI to configure your AWS profile, do CDK sin, CDK deploy, and it will create a cloud formation template and it will push, create these resources on AWS. So what is this app? App can have multiple stacks right and those stacks are having constructs constructs are nothing but if you look into AWS CDK documentation these are just a classes like S3 bucket uh, CloudFront uh, Lambda all these are classes and you need to create a constructor like just invoke those classes like new class name that will create a construct so these are construct EC2 instance Lambda uh, Dynamo table simple endpoint API gateway bucket and how we are creating constructs just by using the new keyword new s3 dot bucket this will this has if you write this inside your stack what it will do it will create a simple bucket you may need to you can specify n number of settings parameters which will just check okay is it a public s3 bucket are you allowing a public access is it a static web hosting enabled all these settings you can specify while creating the s3 bucket so whatever you are doing manually through the aws console that can be done by just these programmatic codes so what we do is we create app equal to new app and then we create these stacks till now we just created only single app with one stack and this stack is nothing but inside this you create your constructs like sqs sns anything so what is our target our target is to have the uber eats clone uh, app deployed to AWS. So we will create uh, these infra folders for each and every component like SwellKit uh, app, front-end app, React app, uh, Next.js app and the microservices. And then we will deploy them. So CDK, we can use these different stacks like okay, every app will have its own stack. But in this example, let's say front-end stack that contains CloudFront, Route 53 and S3 bucket. And the back-end stack which is API stack, which will have API Gateway, Lambda, DynamoDB, S3 or whatever is needed 
for that. So this is how we deploy a simple front-end client-side rendered application like React, Angular, Svelte.js, any CSR app. So we use Route 53 if you want to have a domain on AWS. Otherwise, you need a cloud front, you need S3 bucket and secret manager on which we need for the cloud front to provide a certificate. Okay. Now, I mean, these are just like uh, many different examples we can talk and understand. So front end stack is just a S3 bucket with a static web hosting enabled. That should be enough. Or you can also add a CDN cloud front to get an advantage of edge locations and caching. Otherwise, your API gateway stack, you have API gateway authorizer, your Lambda stack, which contains a Lambda and DynamoDB, and your database stack, which will have a DynamoDB, right? And you need to have a proper permissions. Okay, this Lambda can write to this DynamoDB. All these we are going to specify in this CDK. So you can build any complex architecture of which we are going to deploy to AWS like serverless architecture or a server based where you are using AWS, EKS or uh, Kubernetes or anything, you can deploy that through the CDK. Okay, like, let's say here, I have the APIs. So I'm just deploying API Gateway and the Lambda. I have a user management users on Cognito. So I'm using Cognito user pool that can be deployed through the CDK. And then simple. Uh, there, this is a S3 bucket and you, when you upload uh, to the S3 bucket, there is a listener, there is a trigger on the Lambda trigger has been added. That Lambda trigger will, will push the messages to, S, to SQS queue. There is a listener Lambda which will return, read the messages from the SQS and put the messages to the event bridge. And then there is another Lambda which is saving those events to the Aurora. So this is like what whatever the complexity, but you can orchestrate the whole infrastructure through the AWS CDK just by just writing these construct in the stacks. So here, what, how many stacks you see? One stack, which is just spin up the Cognito, another stack, which contains the API gateway and Lambda. And third stack combines lot of, lots of things because these things are connected. S3 bucket with the Lambda trigger. Then SQS will have a Lambda trigger through this Lambda. Then there is another Lambda, which is listening to the SQS messages. And then this Lambda is writing to the event bridge. All those things are like combined. Now, what is our idea? I mean, we, we are not going to just cover any random topics. We will just see few building blocks. Okay, how to create a Lambda, how to create a Lambda where you are just using multiple dependencies. Let's say you are writing a simple function or you are writing a big application or you are writing a whole NestJS application, how to deploy it. You, we will see Lambda with the API gateway and DynamoDB and the Postgres. We will see how you can deploy your front-end application through S3 bucket and a cloud front. But before that, we will just try to understand these simple constructs like S3 bucket, SNS, SQS, uh, Lambda triggers, event bridge, uh, simple load balancers, how to just create a simple API gateway and uh, connect it to through simple AWS Lambda, uh, all these simple simple demo examples on AWS CDK that will help us to understand how to build these stacks, multiple stacks and then we will just try to spin up, we will use these fundamental principles to deploy our applications to AWS.